Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this full set right here using some new colors that I got. And I'm really, really excited to show you guys because I'm also going to be showing you guys how I did those ombre nails. So those are super cute. I haven't done an ombre video in a super long time. If you're new here, my name's Val and I love, love, love making these types of videos for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and hit like. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, so we're going right in with the video. So I'm going ahead and showing you guys my new colors from Model 1s. I did get this one right here. This one's like a really pretty light, light nude color. I've actually seen um, this design of like swirl nails with this color. And I felt like it's so freaking pretty where like this color is the base. And you can either put like um, a dark brown or something as like the swirl part. Or this color with like rhinestones would be so freaking pretty. I'm thinking of using this for one of my rhinestone freestyles. Um, and then I also picked up this white color. I'm sorry, I don't remember the names off the top of my head right now. But I do show it to you guys briefly in the video. And I am going to be linking every single thing uh, down below. I really, really loved this color right here. It's like a beautiful silver color and it's so freaking pretty. I absolutely loved it. Like I fell in love with it. It's like super pigmented but really smooth. So like the glitter doesn't stick out of the nail because it's not chunky, you know. So I really love that color. Um, And then this one as well. This one's really beautiful. This one has a little bit more of a chunky glitter. And this is actually the one that I'm also going to be using for this set. But it's so freaking pretty. I really, really do love it. This is a perfect color in addition to like a background um of like rhinestones or something like that because it's so holographic and beautiful which is why i needed to use it today and then i'm also going to be showing you guys this black one this is a really really pigmented black like this is a really nice black i've had a lot of different um gel polishes like gel polish brands and black and some of them aren't as thick and you need like or not as pigmented and you need like two coats sometimes that's pretty annoying um especially because i like to do as little coats as possible if you guys have been following my channel for a long time i love to do uh gel polish and stuff like that because i do press-ons so that's why i'm showing you guys this tutorial today but also i love gel for acrylic nails as well because you can literally do a design with gel polish and when they come in for a fill just file off the gel instead of going in with colored acrylic and then you're stuck with the acrylic being there for like a super long time acrylic like colored acrylic does have a really special place in my heart i absolutely love it because there's so many things you can do with it but gel polish also has a special place in my heart like i love gel so much and that's why i always show you guys a whole bunch of gel polish tutorials and stuff or like doing a bunch of different designs sorry i'm like literally just rambling but this is the set we're doing today so i am going to replicate it exactly and this is actually going to be episode one of what she wanted versus what she got you guys were super super nice in the comments when i suggested to you guys that i wanted to start this so this is episode one so i am showing you guys um i did show you guys the picture briefly right there and then i'm going to show you guys again in a bit once i'm done with the set i'm going to show you guys the set side by side with the picture of what she wanted so she wanted that picture um sorry it, like i showed it really quick because i sped the video up but you guys can go back and look at it if you want to but like i said i'm going to show it again um but she wanted it in like regular long coffin shape. So I wanted to make it as exact as I possibly could to the best of my abilities. So what I'm going to be doing for right now is grabbing this white color by Model 1. So I'm going to be putting it on this little thing that I have. I kind of just use random little pieces of plastic like this as painting palettes. And I'm grabbing a lot of this color because I am going to be doing the ombre. So I grabbed a lot of the white and I'm using this color by DD. &D. I believe... Oh, uh, I don't know what the name of this color is off the top of my head. Let me look really quick. It's called Blue Bell. So, yeah, I have all my, like, gel polishes behind me. If you guys have seen, like, my room tours or whatever, I always have my gel polish is behind me. So, I just looked at it really quick. But that is Blue Bell. It's one of my all-time favorite colors, you guys. I need to go to Tulip Nail Supply and I need to go repurchase this color um, I say it like that, like if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you're new here, I love Tulip Nail Supply. They have an online shop and it's where I get a lot of my nail stuff. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that store and it is local here where I live. So I do go in there if I need stuff, but I love ordering online. I actually just ordered online recently, so I actually really liked it. So I had like a really good experience. She, um, or like 
I know the girl that works there and so I said she but like they ship really really quick so I do really like that and what I'm doing is I'm going in with this little mixture on the thumb and the pointer finger I believe so I am just going to be doing that and I think I'm going to do two coats of this color I love when it's really nice and pigmented because these nails are going to be one solid color nails sometimes you can get away with doing just one coat if you wanted to but I like to make sure that they're super good quality so that they're super nice. This is the glittery color that I'm going to be going in with right here on the middle finger. So I'm just going to kind of go at the base and kind of almost ombre it up. Because in the picture that's what it looked like. It looked like it was kind of clear at the tip a little bit. But of course that picture is done with acrylic. So it's going to be a little different. You know what I mean? So um, this is why I started this series to show you guys how you can do these designs with gel polish. Let's just say you guys only do gel on your clients or something. You guys can um, kind of incorporate these designs you know in your daily routine and in a second here I'm just going to be taking out all the materials that I need for this set I was trying to get the glitter as close as I could to the one in the picture I have a lot of glitters because I get a lot of them from AliExpress and stuff like that but it's kind of hard when someone shows a picture and you have no idea what glitter it is because you know we don't always have the same exact thing as the photo but I feel like I replicated it pretty good so yeah, I really love this series. I really love the idea of it because I love showing you guys how you guys... I love showing you guys how you can basically create a set with the materials that you have. So don't feel sad or like don't feel upset if you don't have a color. Or someone asks you for a certain color and you don't have it. Always custom mix. So you guys saw how I custom mix that color. That's because I don't own a color like that. So I did go ahead and custom mix that right up on spot you guys can do that even if you have a client mix it on spot and they're gonna really love you for it because they're gonna be like wow she's really trying to get exactly what i want instead of showing them like a dark blue and being like this is the only blue that i have try to mix it for them and they'll really appreciate it for you so uh, that's just a little tip if you're a beginner i did pick up this glitter as well a while back from aliexpress so i did just grab this one because i felt like this one matched better and i'm sorry you guys i don't know why i'm taking so long right here let's see Okay, so I'm taking this Beatles, um, I think this was the base coat, or was this the top coat? This is a Beatles base coat, I think, and I'm just going ahead and I'm going to be covering over that glitter because I'm going to be adding the chunky glitters on top. So you always want to add a thicker type of base coat when you're going to be doing encapsulation with gel, just because it's really going to help you out with making sure that the nail's as flat as possible. Personally, it doesn't bug me if the glitter sticks out of the nail, but I'm not sure if it bugs like customers, so I try to make it as flat as I can just so that it's not super thick and chunky. So then I'm going to be taking my wax pencil actually and I'm going to be grabbing my little glitters. I've seen in a few um, like tutorials and stuff that people will use like a brush or like water and stuff. You don't really need to do that. You can use a wax pencil if you wanted to but it's up to you. Whatever you feel like works best for you is perfectly fine. And um, I just like using my wax pencil because I feel like it picks up a lot of glitters. But in a second, you're going to see that I get kind of annoyed because the only bad thing about using a wax pencil is that it does pick up only one glitter at a time, which is kind of like annoying. You know what I mean? Especially if you're trying to get more of a like uh, effortless look, I guess you can say. I didn't want this look to be so precise, but if I did want it to be so precise, I would have definitely used uh, my wax pencil the whole time or I would have used like a little cup with water and you can just pick up each one individually. So I did go in with this really messy brush and I just went ahead and grabbed it. Always make sure you clean up the sides and then put it in the lamp to dry. So again, that was on top of wet ba base coat. And then I'm going to be doing it on the other nail as well. Okay, you guys, so once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of base coat on the one that's already cured. The second hand was curing in the lamp at this point. So I am putting another layer of base coat on top. Just making sure that it's super nice and secured in there. If you're new to press-ons and you don't know this already, putting a lot, a lot of layers of gel polish or of base gel or whatever you want to use will kind of shrink the nail down. So you have to make sure that you don't use too, too much product and you have to make sure that it doesn't shrink itself so much. I know that using, um, if you use like IBD clear builder gel or like a really thick base gel, it'll definitely, definitely, definitely shrink your nail just like it would if you put acrylic on top of a press-on so you have to just make sure um that if you're going to use any of those methods just make sure you size up on that specific nail so that you don't have those issues so i am making a little bit more of my mixture right here i was kind of out of frame but i am making a little more because i realized that uh, i might not have enough for my ombre because ombre you have to work in layers and it's kind of, of a, kind of a process so yeah i'm gonna skip this part really quick Okay, you guys, so I know this looks like I'm mixing so, so much product, but trust me, I do end up using it all. So I am going ahead and I'm going to be 
um, putting on, I think I'm going to be putting my nude color now. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? So yeah, I think I'm going to be putting my nude. Sorry guys, sometimes I get distracted because I'm like, what am I even doing there? Um, so right here I did just go in with my top coat finally um, on top. But if you wanted to, you don't have to top coat yet if you're going to be adding gems. I completely forgot that I was going to add gems here. Just like a few of them. But if you wanted to, you can just leave it add gems and then top coat around your gems to kind of shrink wrap them in. I know that that'll really help. And then I am going in with my second layer of the blue color. I love, love, love how this custom mix color came out. It's so freaking pretty. I absolutely love it. And look how glossy and flawless they look. Always make sure that you clean up the sides of your nails or that you try to apply it so that you don't have so much product like dripping off the sides because that can cause a lumpy nail. And I'm taking, I'm blushing by Eye Gel Beauty. I'm going to be painting the other two nails this color right here. This is um, one of my most favorite nudes ever. It's a really beautiful like natural pink color. Not really pink, I guess you could say. It's like a pinkish nude. And I really, really, really love it. This is a perfect base color for French tips as well. But one of my um, other favorite nudes is Eye Gel Beauty's um, Ruffle Trim. That's a really beautiful one. And Cozy Cashmere looks a lot like this color right here that I'm using. So this one is, um, I'm blushing, so it's a little bit more pink, I would say, or more peach. And Cozy Cashmere is more nude. I don't really know if that makes sense. Yeah, so they are different in their own ways. But if you're going to get three colors from Eye Gel Beauty, get Ruffle Trim, Cozy Cashmere, and I'm blushing. I will link all those down below, but those are my three favorite nudes. I literally get asked that question like so, so, so much on my Instagram. You guys are always, always commenting like what color is this? What color is this? Or actually, it's probably not you guys commenting because you guys probably already know. Maybe if you're new to my channel, you're asking. But um, yeah, those are my three favorite nudes ever. And I am just going ahead and fixing up the other set as well the second hand and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just showing you guys what it looks like and we are going to be doing the ombre so I'm showing you guys right here the little sponges that I like to use I get them at Ross I showed you guys the price very briefly it's just a big mix pack of cosmetic sponges these are the best to use for ombre you can also use your airbrush if you wanted to but um sometimes I get too lazy to use my airbrush because I don't know I just get nervous i don't know if it's going to be good yet i still need more practice with it so i am grabbing it mixing the two colors on the sponge is key to you guys this will make your ombre so freaking nice and you're going to go ahead and sponge it on you're going to need a few layers i don't remember if i do like five layers or six but we'll see right now so that's the first layer and then i'm going to be doing it on the second hand and you can literally just flash cure it because the layers are so thin so you're going to see i'm going in and out in and out like let putting one in taking the other one out within a few seconds because all you need to do is flash cure it because the layers are super, super thin. So I am going ahead and just doing that super quick. And then making sure that you don't get any dust or little pieces stuck on the nail. So if you're left with little bumps, I noticed that that's depending on the kind of sponge you're using. So these little sponges work really good. They leave like no bumps on the nail. So I don't need to buff them afterwards. If you've seen my OG, like original um how to do ombre video it's one of my first videos that i ever posted if you've been here from the beginning oh my gosh i love you so much but that video i did show you guys that you can buff the nails afterwards and buff off any little bumps that you get from the ombre so with this little sponge i don't get any of those problems though i don't have to buff them but yeah i'm just showing you guys what the ombre looks like it's so freaking pretty it's already looking so good i don't know how many layers were on you guys i don't know if you guys counted but it's probably like four or five at this point and I am going ahead and just doing one last one. You want to make sure that it's super nice and flawless. As flawless, flawless as you can get it. So I did have a, a few small bumps. But if you only have a little bit, you don't need a buff. Because you might buff your color away. Um, just top coat. And the top coat will smooth everything out. I promise. Especially if you use a thick top coat. A thick top, thick top coat is key, you guys. I use the Eye Gel Beauty top coat. It's one of the best. And I really, really do love it because it really just smooths out the nail afterwards and I feel like that's what I get the most compliments on on my Instagram as well if you guys don't follow my Instagram I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can go follow me I have two accounts well technically I have three I didn't even tell you guys but I do have a little account where I sell like gems and like nail supplies a few like nail things so if you guys wanted to check that out everything on that page is only four dollars right now and I promise you guys it's like the best quality stuff it's really cute things and I do offer free shipping if you if you buy over 25 dollars so as long as you're in the U.S. you get free shipping 
And you guys, if you come from YouTube and you want to buy anything from my little shop on Instagram, just say that you're coming from YouTube and I promise you, you're going to get some really cute free gifts. So I feel like you guys are really going to love it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put all those accounts right here, all three of them. But anyways, you guys, I was getting off track. After you're done with your ombre, you feel like your colors, your designated color that you wanted and the blend is, is good and everything. You're going to go ahead and grab an alcohol wipe and wipe all of your nails down. Or um, not an alcohol wipe. I get a lint-free wipe and then I just put some alcohol on it because the lint-free wipes are better to me. And I'm showing you guys here how you can clean your sponge. So after you're done cleaning your nails, uh, saturate a few lint-free pads of alcohol. And look, I'm just pressing it in and you can see the colors like going away. I wipe that away and then I'm going to do it one more time, I believe. Yeah, so I'm going to wipe it away and then you can reuse your sponge. So don't throw your sponges away. Don't let them dry. Um, I just do it like this. So this is kind of a little bit of an updated version of my ombre video that I first posted. I know when I first posted it, I did a little egg shaped. I think I used a little egg shaped um, beauty blender thing, but you can use that as well. It's just up to you, whatever you want to do. And now I'm going to be going in with the gems. So I'm going to be taking out my bling box and I'm going to be showing you guys the gems that I'm going to be using. So I am just going ahead and pulling out the ones that I need for this video or for the, this set of nails. And I did want to replicate it as, as, as exact as I could. Sorry, you guys, I literally can't talk. But I was like trying to look at it and I was like okay do I have like all of those gems always make sure you just try to improvise that's all about it it's just you guys trying your best to get it as, as exact as you could because your customers will be super happy you know like if you really care about like what they want or at least I do I always try to make it as good as I can to the best of my ability and with the materials that I already have so don't feel overwhelmed just try to work with it and I'm taking out some flames shapes some um, other kinds like a bunch of different little shapes and these are super super nice high quality rhinestones you guys these are really really nice and sparkly and yeah if you guys wanted to buy any I do sell them for four dollars a pack so they're really really beautiful I really love them and these are unlike any other rhinestones that I've ever tried before because they're so freaking sparkly like you guys are so pretty and they're not like cheap rhinestones at all so I am going ahead with my McCart rhinestone gel. This is one that you guys did recommend to me and I really love it. I do have a code with McCart that I'll put here if you guys wanted to purchase it. But I am going in with this and then I'm just going to be putting my rhinestones on.
Okay, you guys, so once I'm done applying the gems, I went ahead with my lymph-free wipe and alcohol, and I'm just wiping off all of my gems because I'm not sure if the McCart rhinestone gel is um, has a sticky layer or not, but I always just wipe it anyway. And now I'm going to be giving my gems a little bit of a glue bath. I did show you guys how I do this. Um, I do this mainly more so on the bigger gems because it's really important, I feel like. I already did it to this hand as well, but I feel like giving um, your big gems a glue bath will make sure that they stay on super, super long. In my last video, I explained it a little bit further, but basically I just grab my nail glue. You can use whatever brand you like, and then I go around the gems, not on top of them. I set it to the side to dry for a while, and you can use your nail glue dryer and spray it from a distance so that your gems don't turn white. Um, and this is what they look like after they're top coated and I'm going to go ahead and just top coat the last one and then I'm going to put them in the lap to dry and I do always cure my nails for 60 seconds and then once I'm done top coating every single one of my nails I do make sure that everything's nice and covered and then I'm going to be grabbing my um, dust collector and I do always use my dust collector because I like to file the nails after they're done drying and I do that with every single set. It doesn't in any way alter the gel polish or anything like that. It doesn't make it peel. It doesn't make it do anything. And I promise your shape will look so, so much better. So this is the dust collector that I'm going to be using. And then I do um, go just go ahead and file it. And I use a 100-180 nail file. But you can use whatever nail file you have. Anything will work perfectly fine. Okay, you guys, so now I'm grabbing the little box. These two other sets were um, two of the other sets that she had as well. So I'm grabbing my little, um, what is this called? Foam tape. You can get this at the dollar store. They actually do sell it there, but I get mine on Amazon as well. I get them at both places. It just depends. And I'm going to be placing them on there with my fingers. I always make sure that I wipe them off with the clean surface afterwards. And then, yeah, this is what they look like. They're so freaking pretty. I absolutely love what they look like. They're so, so beautiful. And following my series, this is the set that she wanted. And then this is what I created for her. Again, she just wanted it in long coffin. And I feel like I did a really, really good job, you guys, at replicating what she wanted. Let me know what you guys think down below. Does it look really good? Um, I really love your guys' feedback. Let me know what else you would like to see next. And I can't wait to upload more videos for you guys. So I really hope you guys have an amazing day. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video, if you learned anything new. And yeah, you guys, I really appreciate you. Bye. Have a good day.